As the Vardwar siege the Kabali cities, General Canel has asked us to check the forward camps and ascertain their status. They should have been able to warn us about the assault force that reached the main gate, but instead we heard nothing. Canel is especially worried as one of the commanders, or Hatchons, Jitanian, is his son. Unfortunately the base to base transporter pad is currently inoperable, maybe this has something to do with why we've lost communications. We'll have to hoof it on foot. Reaching the shielded base forward camp, a building surrounded by a force field atop a knoll, we find the Hachan in question. Hachan, are you Jitanian? We're hanging in there, but we could use your help. Hang on, you're Kabali. How can you be anyone's son? I am, although I understand your confusion. Kabali reproduce by reanimating corpses and then integrating them into our society. We're assigned to existing family groups who teach and care for us. My first life was a long one. I don't remember it, however. I am Kabali, and my father is a source of inspiration and wisdom for me. Seems I need to brush up on what I know about Kabali. My people do not reproduce in what you would consider a normal fashion. Instead, we use a genetic virus to alter the DNA of corpses from other species, reanimating them and transforming them into Kabali. We call this process Rebirth. The process takes several months. Afterward, a new Kabali is assigned to a family group who will help him or her adjust to our culture and learn our language. All memories of the Kinstaya, or past life, are left behind. It can be difficult to accept this new life, and my father was of great help to me during this time. Some Kabali cannot accept the change and flee to search for their former lives. In these cases, it's our duty to find these lost souls and help them return. So you don't... make baby? This is not something we normally discuss with outsiders. Suffice it to say, our ancestors experimented with forces they did not understand, and we were irrevocably changed by their folly. Faced with our own extinction, we found a way to survive. Now rebirth is the greatest gift we can give to the dead. Who wouldn't want a second chance at life? Well, this is a strange concept. I think many would jump at the chance to go at it again, but I've got so many questions. Does a person's age affect the process? I'm guessing it doesn't work multiple times. And yeah, sorry, the general said you needed help. Yes, we have two problems. Our transporters in our forward base have stopped working, and troop morale is low after the last attack. Could you give us a hand by getting more soldiers back into the fight? I'm still looking into the issue with the transporters. Back at it again with their rallying. It seems to me many of the problems with the Kabali may be traced to the higher echelons. Can't we get just food sent down here or something? I, oh no, wait, hang on. Kabali have very different tastes to most humanoids. It really is a full on war zone out there. Trenches have been dug and protected outposts sit creating a perimeter, and along its edges, fire is constantly flying as soldiers take shots at one another waiting for the next big push. We set out to find some of these shell-shocked soldiers and bring them help. There are dozens dotted around, hiding from the flying energies, but we only need to placate four. At this stage we don't have to venture too far beyond the established Kabali safe zone, but even though we're unlikely to encounter too many Vardwa troops, there is still a constant bombardment from mortars or cannons unseen and stray fire from beyond the barricades. On finding and rescuing four Kabali, we radio back to the Hatchon. Thank you. The soldiers have been beaten down so much I can barely keep them going, but they seem bolstered by the outside help. We still have no idea what's disrupting our transporters. Maybe you can find something on the Vaudoir or from any of their crates in that area. So you suspect tampering and it's not a malfunction? I'll have a look. Our next objective is to gather intel from the Vadwa forces. There are several of their cargo canisters close to the front. Some have been captured by the Kabali, others just within the Vadwa held territory. Of course we can always target enemy squads and then search their corpses, and it's not pretty work, but the Kabali need the advantage of their transporters being operational. It's the only way they can beam through the Kabali shielding. Short of digging tunnels between outposts, I don't see another solution. Gathering enough data to unravel a coherent plan, we're able to undo the sabotage to the transporter network, though every individual pad is going to require the modifications to re-establish the network. Captain Kim here. 
I need to speak to you as soon as you return to the city. Very well, Captain. We'll be along shortly. Just got a couple more things to wrap up. The hatch on here had his hands full, to be sure, but that doesn't explain why he never radioed in the Vardwar assault. Perhaps we can find that answer in one of these numerous found missions dotted across the map. These are tasks that have been left incomplete by unfortunate soldiers. Who knows what befell them? But one such mission reveals that the Kabali communications networks have been compromised by the Vardwar and are able to eavesdrop over wavelengths from the Kabali satellites. They have established listening devices throughout the front that we can disable. There are a lot of these missions, and for gameplay purposes they are repeatable every 20 hours. So alongside the main missions we picked up a couple of these to fulfil alongside undoing the Vardwar transport sabotage. It seems that the northmost of the western camps are under the greatest threat at the moment, with the Vardwar constantly pressuring the troops in this area. It seems that this place was once residential on the outskirts of the city proper, but it must have been rather idyllic before all of this. Now it's scarred with the craters of explosions and fire. When we're done with our first foray into the front, we test our calibrations and beam back to the city to speak with Kim. I've been noticing something strange. When I first met the Kabali, they didn't seem to be a particularly religious people. Lindsay, Jedlaya I mean, certainly didn't say anything about it. However, now, almost every Kabali I've met follows one creed, and there's a temple located just beyond the trenches. I've tried to find out more about their practices, but they keep telling me it's forbidden to share them with outsiders. Voyager's first run in with the Kabali was when Jetlia, or the human Lindsay Ballard, was returned to the ship after her rebirth. Eventually, she came to accept her new life as a Kabali and returned home with her family. If they do have a primary religion, then what is it? And does this war have a religious component? Maybe, but I don't remember the Vaudoir having a particular belief system either. This may not be much, but I'll continue my investigations. Maybe this one is a dead end. Keep at it then, and I'll see if I can keep you freed up enough to dig around some more. We inform Connell of the transporter network's state, and he's about as pleased as you'd expect, but relieved that it can be fixed as we go. However, he refuses to answer inquiries about his religious beliefs. We've heard something similar from his son, saying that it's not something they discuss with outsiders, but he was willing to divulge many details on the Kabali's rebirth process. So what's so taboo about their other beliefs? Ah, I'm sorry, but could you return later? I believe you need a break. You've already done so much for us. We couldn't possibly ask you for more. Thank you again. Am I being sidelined? Is there nothing I can do to help? There are always attacks that you can help us with. Well, it seems like I'm at a loose end for a while. All right then, let's see if Kim has any suggestions. I've discovered a few interesting things that can help us with the Kabali. Do you have anything on your end? No, only that the General seems to have benched me after I began asking about the temple. It does feel like we're operating with an incomplete picture, and now I'm thinking of something the Vardwar leader Gaul said. What who's telling the truth? I've been thinking. Our only way to find out what the Kabali are hiding is through the Vaudoir. We need to find out where they're focusing their attacks, and then why. That may be able to shed some light on the situation. Do you know how the Vaudoir are communicating with one another in the field? Yes. My crew was looking into why our signal jammers weren't working, and we found that the Vaudoir have comm beacons in all of their camps that act as a miniature subspace array. They can't be jammed because they're shielded, and they provide all the Vaudoir need for controlled, secure communications. Ingenious, really. I wonder if the Starfleet Corps of Engineers could whip up something like that for us. If Bellana were here, I'm sure she could. Anyway, if we could place a trace on one of the Vaudoir beacons... References aside, we'd have access to their communications! Hey, we're on the same wavelength. Exactly. Once we find out where the Vaudoir plan to attack, we can reinforce the Kabali and find out what, if anything, they're hiding. There are four communications arrays in the trenches area. Planting a trace on each of them should allow the engineers on your ship to spy on the Vaudoir. So, place a tracing signal on one of the beacons that relays a duplicate transmission to the armager for us to decode. Well, we'll call this one a Starfleet mission, shall we? I'll handle it, Captain. Good work. Alright, looks like we're heading back into the front once again. 